Hi guys, uh, so I assume you've all watched the video um, about Salat, uh, the daily prayer ritual that uh, Muslims participate in, um, which is also one of the five pillars of Islam that we, we looked at last term. Uh, now what I'm going to do with uh, my current worksheet, so I have uh, my prayer mat design, uh, but in the middle I've included a box with the numbers one, two, three, four and five. Now in the middle of this box I'm going to write facts that I remember um, about Salat. Uh, so one, uh, some, some things that really stood out to me that I never knew before that I want to include within my design of my prayer mat. Uh, so number one, I'm going to test your knowledge on this as well just to help you remember and also help me remember too. Um, so one thing that the boy said uh, in the video was about where Muslims can pray. Now in my mind I always thought oh, okay with many people um, and with prayer that they can only pray in their place of worship. Now I assumed that only Muslims could pray in mosques but what I found out was well done absolutely Pr Muslims can pray anywhere. Um, but there was one particular feature uh, about this that really stood out to me, is that Muslims can pray anywhere, but they must pray in the direction towards something specific. Can you remember what place that is? Well done. It's towards Mecca. Uh, so as the boy demonstrated, he had a compass uh, showing him where Mecca is so he knew which direction to pray in so that's going to be my first fact and I'm going to keep it nice and simple uh, and I'm going to say Muslims can pray anywhere uh, but it has to be in the direction of Mecca, Mecca. towards Mecca Full stop. Okay, and the Mecca has a capital M because it is a place and it's a holy place. Uh, number two. So uh, there was also something the boy detailed about uh, what Muslims say at the beginning of the prayer, which means God is great. I wonder if you can remember that phrase. Well done, brilliant. Okay, so at the beginning of prayer, Muslims say Alu Akbar. So I'll write that down. Muslims say, and I'm going to put some speech marks here. Allah. Ah. Oh, I might need help spelling this. Can anybody help me? Brilliant. Well done. Capital A K B A R. Close speech marks. Muslims say, and I'm going to make sure I've got a comma there as well, Alu Akbar, which means God is great. Capital G for God. Okay, now number three, uh, I noticed also Muslims do a set of actions to write, to, to unite, excuse me, uh, their mind, soul and body together, which I thought was a really lovely uh, representation of uh, Muslims' focus within prayer. So they're focused on their communication with their God, which I thought was a really lovely fact. So I'm going to include that as well. So Muslims do a set of Oh, excuse me, I'm going to correct myself there. To unite their mind, soul and body. You can also give yourself an example there as well, something that you did see in the video. Okay, uh, there was also another fact there as well, uh, which I thought, actually, I never knew that before. Does anybody remember? how many names there are for Allah. I was really, really surprised. Can you guess? Absolutely, there were 99 names for Allah. Does anybody remember an example? Have a little think while I'm writing my sentence. Uh, so I, my 